Welcome to Trand Hub. The news broke, shattering the ordinary rhythm of the day. It struck like a thunderclap on a clear day, unexpected, electrifying, impossible to ignore. Trillions in untapped energy found in Philippine waters, screamed the headlines, their bold letters echoing across every screen and street corner. In Manila, the city seemed to pause, as if holding its breath, the usual chaos replaced by a collective sense of anticipation. People gathered around screens in malls, markets and homes, their faces lit with a mix of disbelief, hope, and cautious excitement. This was not just another news story, it was a moment that could redefine the nation's future, a turning point that would be remembered for generations. The world was watching, and for the Philippines, everything was about to change. International news outlets scrambled to cover the story, their cameras now focused on the archipelago. At Malacanang Palace, phones rang non-stop as top officials rushed into emergency meetings, their faces tense with the weight of history unfolding. For decades the Philippines has been an energy importer, vulnerable to global price shocks, its economy often at the mercy of distant markets and volatile oil prices. Now, overnight, it sits on a treasure chest that could rival Middle Eastern kingdoms, a fortune hidden beneath the waves, waiting to be unlocked. The president steps before the cameras, voice steady but eyes shining, confirming seismic surveys and drilling have revealed reserves beyond anyone's wildest dreams. The nation listens, spellbound. The declaration echoes across the archipelago, from the windswept hills of Batanas to the bustling cities of Mindanao. In every province, hope stirs. For the average Filipino, long burdened by high electricity bills and the constant worry of rising costs, this news offers a powerful glimmer of hope, a chance for relief, for a better life. Could this be the end of energy poverty? Could every home from the city to the most remote barangay finally have reliable, affordable power? The questions are many and the challenges ahead are real, but for the first time prosperity feels within reach. Dreams once thought impossible now seem just a little closer. The discovery is a promise, a challenge, and a turning point all at once. It is a test of leadership, unity, and vision, a chance to shape a new destiny. Geologists speak of supergiant fields, oil and natural gas in quantities that could supply the nation for centuries, fueling not just homes and industries but dreams and ambitions. International markets react instantly, stock prices soar, investors scramble, and world leaders call Manila, eager to forge new partnerships and alliances. The Philippines, often seen through its challenges, is suddenly the center of global attention for its incredible newfound wealth. The world watches as a nation stands on the threshold of transformation, its destiny rewritten before our eyes. This discovery is about more than oil and gas, it's about national transformation. The reserves are valued in the trillions, enough to shift the economy from consumer-driven to a production powerhouse. It's a chance to build new industries, create millions of jobs, and fund massive infrastructure projects. For a nation long plagued by poverty, this is a game changer. The government could establish a sovereign wealth fund, ensuring prosperity for generations. Becoming an energy superpower would give the Philippines a stronger voice internationally. But with great opportunity comes great responsibility. The challenge avoid the resource curse and ensure benefits reach all Filipinos, not just a select few. This trillion-dollar revelation is a test of the nation's character and unity. The energy reserves are spread across several strategic maritime areas. The Sulu Sea, rich in marine life, now reveals vast natural gas beneath its seabed. The Celebes Sea, part of the Coral Triangle, holds massive oil deposits, potentially transforming Mindanao into an economic hub. The most contested area is the West Philippine Sea, especially Recto Bank, believed to hold the largest deposits. Tapping these reserves is both a technical and geopolitical challenge. These three locations form a golden triangle of energy potential, each with unique opportunities and risks. Developing them safely will require national strategy, international partnerships, and careful stewardship. For decades, the Philippines has been at the mercy of global energy markets. Now, the dream of energy independence is within reach. Imagine stable fuel prices, affordable electricity, and a surge in economic activity. Lower energy costs would make industries more competitive and attract investment. Energy security means national security, no longer vulnerable to foreign pressure. Achieving this will take years of investment, infrastructure, and skilled workers. But the reward is immense, a stronger, more prosperous, and secure Philippines. 
the nation can finally chart its own course, powered by its own resources. The discovery lands in the heart of the South China Sea's geopolitical storm, instantly drawing the world's attention to this volatile region. Here, the balance of power is constantly shifting, and every new development can have far-reaching consequences. The largest reserves of oil and natural gas are believed to lie within the West Philippine Sea, a region whose rich resources overlap with China's sweeping and controversial claims. This overlap has fueled tensions for years, but the latest discovery raises the stakes to unprecedented levels. The Philippines' official announcement of the find sets the stage for a high-stakes confrontation, not just with China, but with other claimants and interested global powers. The world is now watching how Manila will respond. China is unlikely to stand by quietly, expect increased pressure both diplomatic and military, as Beijing seeks to assert its dominance and protect its interests in these contested waters. The Philippines has international law on its side, with a 2016 tribunal ruling favoring its claims. However, it lacks the military might to enforce these rights alone, making the situation even more precarious. The U.S. Mutual Defense Treaty, along with support from key allies like Japan and Australia, now becomes critical. These partnerships offer a vital security umbrella and diplomatic leverage, but also risk escalating the conflict if not managed carefully. The stakes are enormous. Not just oil and gas but national sovereignty, regional stability, and the future of the rules-based international order are all on the line. The outcome will shape the region for generations. Navigating this great game will require not only resolve, but also clever diplomacy, strategic alliances, and a deep understanding of both regional and global dynamics. The government must defend its rights and interests, but also keep communication channels open with all parties to avoid miscalculation and open conflict. Dialogue, negotiation, and confidence-building measures are essential. Ultimately, the nation's future prosperity, security, and standing in the world depend on how it navigates this complex geopolitical chess match. The choices made today will echo for decades to come. The numbers are breathtaking. Over 20 billion barrels of oil and 200 trillion cubic feet of natural gas. That's more than $3 trillion in potential wealth, dwarfing the nation's annual GDP. The Philippines' find rivals the North Sea oil fields that transformed the UK and Norway. Once production begins, the energy sector could add up to $100 billion annually to the economy. This is not a one-time windfall, but a continuous stream of revenue for national development. The peso would strengthen, imports would become cheaper, and the trade deficit could disappear. With well-structured agreements, the government could receive the lion's share of profits. This is money to triple education budgets, build modern healthcare, and invest in infrastructure. The challenge now, managing abundance wisely. The Philippines is set to become a major energy exporter and a key player in global energy security. This new status brings influence, supplying oil and gas to Asia's biggest economies. Economic interdependence will enhance regional stability and give the Philippines diplomatic leverage. Foreign investment and expertise will flood in, building a new generation of Filipino energy experts. The country will become a hub for innovation in deep water drilling and sustainable energy. But with prominence comes responsibility. The world will watch how the Philippines manages its wealth and environment. The nation must prove itself a responsible global citizen. Becoming a respected energy power requires not just resources but wisdom and strong governance. The path from discovery to production is filled with challenges. Technically, most reserves are in deep water, requiring advanced technology and massive investment. Politically, the West Philippine Sea's location means constant tension with China. Securing sites will require military upgrades and strong alliances. Internally, the risk of corruption looms large. Transparency and accountability are essential. The Philippines must establish independent oversight and open contracts to public scrutiny. Environmental risks are real, these seas are biodiversity hotspots. The government must enforce strict environmental standards and invest in conservation. Balancing development with responsibility will test national leadership. Good governance is not just a goal, it's a necessity. The true measure of success for any nation is not found in statistics or headlines, but in the daily lives of its people. For the Philippines, real progress will be seen when ordinary Filipinos experience genuine improvements, when families feel secure, children have opportunities, and communities thrive. Imagine a future where reliable electricity powers every home and business, where fuel costs are affordable, and where public services are efficient and accessible to all. These are not distant dreams but achievable goals that can transform lives.
Picture schools equipped with modern classrooms and technology, hospitals offering advanced medical care, and new highways and bridges connecting even the most remote areas. Such progress would open doors for millions, giving every Filipino a fair chance to succeed. The growth of the oil and gas industry will not only create thousands of skilled jobs, but also spark innovation and opportunity across all sectors, from engineering to logistics and beyond. With cheaper and more stable energy, manufacturing can expand, agriculture can flourish, and tourism can reach new heights. This will help reduce unemployment and raise living standards for countless families. As opportunities grow at home, more Filipinos may choose to stay, and those working abroad may finally return, reuniting families and strengthening communities. But to turn this vision into reality, the entire nation must come together. This is not just a government project, it is a mission for every Filipino, in every corner of the country. Citizens must remain vigilant, holding leaders accountable and ensuring that the nation's wealth is used to benefit all, not just a privileged few. Active participation and informed voices are essential. With strong, visionary leadership and a united people, the Philippines can finally break free from the cycle of poverty and underdevelopment, building a future where every child can dream big. Today, the nation stands at the threshold of a new era, one filled with prosperity, justice and hope for all Filipinos. The promise of a brighter dawn is within reach if we choose to seize it together.